Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Guys, today I want to take a look at another Watchman Brother slip joint from Amazon. Um, only place I found these knives, and this is the second one in my collection. Real quickly guys, if you would, please hit that subscribe button below and the bell notification icon by it. It would really help me out. I would appreciate it, and I promise you guys will not regret it. In either case, this is a specimen from Amazon. It is a very acute worn tip blade. It is the Watchman Brother Pattern 1508. And this knife kind of reminds me of a nice arched the handles arched back the blade is really nice worn cliff and a cute worn cliff with a swedge here at the front comes down to a very very pokey tip I mean that you could do serious splinter removal with um, has carbon fiber handles and these stainless um, bolsters and inserts the fit and finish of this knife is done very well if you guys can see that the transitions between the stainless the carbon fiber uh, the pins just feels very very nice like the other watchman brother the half stop is oddly off just a little bit that is neither here nor there it does not cause me any issues it's just something to be aware of you do have that nice ricasa there that's kind of a serves as a blade protector to keep your finger from getting hit by that knife if you're up too close on it that ricasa right there you'll also notice a very well done sharpening choil on this knife it's just got a standard little pull and a lot of billboarding so billboarding says brother one knife one life I could do without that shows the blade steel here on the back VG 10 kind of pumped about that and again 1508 the pattern numbers on the other side of the Ricasa let me grab a piece of PP digest This guy is very slicey. This is one of my slicier uh, slip joints. A lot of it's because of the thinness of the blade and the grind and that worn cliff tip that really lets you get work done. But this guy's will cut through just about anything. And it will cut through it well if I don't hit the choil. So that's the factory edge on the Watchman 1508. Um, again, from Amazon, I ordered this knife on, I want to say a Tuesday, and it was delivered to me either on a Wednesday or a Thursday. So of all the things we can say about Amazon, if you're a Prime member, which I am, it makes getting goods to your house very easily, including super cool, slip joints um let me grab the other watchman for a size comparison this one's more of a spear point but very close to the same size this one was 35 dollars in micarta and vg10 and this one i want to say is 37.50 so they're a couple of dollars apart but this worn cliff g ball Brother G. Bizzle had told me about it when I'd shown him my first Watchman brother that he'd also told me about. He said I really needed to get this one, and I can see why now, because it is. It's got a super, super acute Warncliff blade that I love, and the symmetry between that handle and the way that it feels in the hand, I would say this is a medium to full-size slip joint when you're talking about a slip joint. So let's get some quick size comparisons for some knives that you guys might be aware of and then we'll compare it to a few slip joints. 
So guys, it is almost as large as the Benchmade bug out, lengthwise. And it's about a quarter of an inch longer than the mini bug out. So let's grab a Javon promotional tape measure. I'm going to say that's six and three quarters with a three inch blade, a two and three quarter inch sharpened edge, three and three quarter inch handle. So the handle is three and three quarters. Grab Brother Panic's calipers. Blade stock at the back, 0.113. Up at the front, or towards the front, 0.052. Behind the edge, 0.052. Whoops, I slipped off of it. 0.0255 and then our handle is going to come in under a half inch at 0.42 middle of the handle height 0.64 and our last metric to record would be our weight and this little guy is going to come in at 2.3 ounces So yeah guys, that is The Watchman by Brother. If you go to Amazon, I'll have the link in my description of where I picked it up. Um, these are still available, best I know. I have seen, not in stock, but I've seen these with, uh, I wanna say a bone type pattern, but I really like the carbon fiber. And again, this is built around the true traditional style with pins pinned together, so there are no pivot screws to adjust. Um, there's absolutely no play in that blade. It's got a really substantial walk and talk. Falls in the pocket nicely. Came very well centered. Favors the show side just a little bit. But for a slip joint, it's pretty darn close. Now it's favoring, and it's just about centered. But yeah, guys. That is a $37 carbon fiber VG10 slip joint that you can pick up from Amazon, have it in a couple of days. If you haven't tried a slip joint and you want to try something more traditional and you like a Warncliffe blade, I can highly recommend this guy for your first slip joint just to see if you like them. If you've had slip joints for a while and you're just looking at picking up an additional slip joint, I can recommend this slip joint. I use it quite a bit. I love the utility of the blade. It's quite a slicer. It's a lot of fun to carry. This is one of the ones that I don't carry in a slip. My two, uh, I've got two Bokers and two Brothers that I carry just in my pocket naked. I love them both. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Appreciate you watching the video. Appreciate you subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon. I would really appreciate if you'd look out for the guy or gal to your left. Look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.